there's a ridiculous movie that was made back in 1998 about Bruce Willis going into outer space with a ragtag group of oil drillers to save the world from an asteroid. The movie's ridiculous and kind of dumb, but many people love it, including myself. And there is a scene Kind of an infamous, well, not infamous. There's a scene where Ben Affleck and Liv Tyler, the the night before the big, you know, action supposed to happen, they're it, having a picnic in the middle of nowhere, half naked, and Ben Affleck is playing with animal crackers and on Liv Tyler's stomach while her dad sings music in the background. Okay. Now in that scene, you know, they're they're being cutesy lovey dovey with each other. In the scene, Liv Tyler asks Ben Affleck, she says, Ben Affleck, do you think that there's anybody else in the world doing this exact same thing? right now you know half naked animal cracker picnic and Ben Affleck says well Liv Tyler I certainly hope so otherwise what the hell are we saving this planet for why do I bring that up I'll tell you in a minute. Okay. Hello. It's Derek Tant here. I'm on the back porch. Enjoying Hearth and Home's magnum opus from about three years ago in this Lucky Pipes, uh, whatever this is, Bulldog? Yeah, Bit Bulldog. It's really good. And I've got a little glass of some spirits that were made in Tennessee. Jack Daniels, single barrel, barrel proof. Mm. Mighty nice. This whiskey and this pipe and tobacco, they go they go pretty well together. It's a nice thing to have. A little a little drink, a little smoke on uh, the back porch with the, the crickets chirping. So it's a it's a simple pleasure. And right now, today in this world, you know, there's a lot of stress and people are finding it hard to enjoy the simple pleasures because of the corona corona uh, virus that's going around. Now I'm a nurse and I live in, you know, small town, West Texas. It hasn't quite hit us hard yet but I think it's going to like New York City New York State New Orleans Seattle California they're already hit pretty bad and you know hospitals nurses doctors you know it's getting bad it's getting overwhelming it's getting tough and no doubt it'll It'll be getting tough around here uh, in the coming weeks, uh, but I wanted to I wanted to sit down and and really, really just reflect and enjoy uh, the simple pleasures, the simple things. Otherwise, you know, 
referencing back to the 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 movie Armageddon, if you didn't figure it out. Um, you know, wh what are we doing this for? You know, I mean, this I'm gonna be me and and, and it's not just me millions others there's gonna be tons of people that are gonna be you know we're all we're all in this together whether you're at home you know whether you've been laid off or you're not working much we're still all in this together and we're still pitching in you know my my son's having to go to you know school online and he lost his his job but he's the one that is you know, doing the running around the grocery shopping for, you know, half a dozen other people in our town who can't get out. You know, he's doing that stuff for them, you know, for gas money, you know. And so it, it's been very encouraging to see uh, a community help each other out. And that is what gives me a lot of hope. And I'm going to be fighting for the future. We're all going to be fighting for the future. You know? You know? But even during that fight, even during those stressful times, you know, I, I believe there's still going to be uh, times that we'll be able to, to to sit still and have a simple moment of pleasure like this. And if we can't do that, you know, what's it all for? What are we fighting for? You know, I don't really know where I'm going with this. <laughs> it's kind of a, it's just a thought. It's meant to be hopeful, you know, this... Getting to sit down with your pipe and sit down with your drink, you know, on your back porch on a on a nice warm night with a slight breeze and the crickets chirping. This is nice. This is just a, a just a just a way to relax and unwind. And it's it's just it's just a simple it's a simple pleasure. It's not a big thing, you know. This is it's just a guy. A pipe, some tobacco, a flame, and a and some and some spirits, some liquor, some whiskey. You know, and it's just so nice. I want to be able to do this, not just today. I want to be able to do this tomorrow, and I want to do it a year from now. I want to do it five years from now, twenty years from now, and I want to continue to do that and share that experience with you all and that's why I want everybody to you know take the precautions seriously do the you know the the recommendations the social distancing the frequent hand washing do it do it you know it's it really does make a difference Slowing the spread of this thing is going to keep is going to help make it so that our medical system is not overwhelmed. We may all eventually get uh, hit with it. But it'll be easier to deal with if we can slow the spread. Spread that out. Anyway, that's really it, guys. If you're able to, have a smoke. Have a drink. Have some time. Whatever you need to do. Whatever your simple pleasure is. Whether it's watching Tiger King on Netflix, which I highly recommend. Sitting down, having a smoke. You know, baking cookies with your kids. Getting on a video call with your grandma. Do it. It's worth it. The future is worth preserving. It's worth fighting for. So thank you all for joining me and watching. Let's preserve the future and smell my beard. <laughs>